running back true seeker. We're keeping our eyes on Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan has the perfect alignment to be a ritual sacrifice for upcoming Super Bowl 52. I was actually going back and looking at my older work, and I had documented this before the NFL season even began in light of the flooding in Houston and Bob Dylan's 1976 benefit concert in Houston for the boxer Reuben Carter, who was known as the Hurricane, who died at age 76. Benefit concert in 76, dead at 76, Bob Dylan 76, blood sacrifice equals 76. Anyway, we've been talking about why Dylan better be looking out because the numbers align and this code is murder by numbers. December 12th, reportedly the first biographer of Bob Dylan dropped dead at age 85. And in the language of Gematria, National Football League equals 85. Things are promising for the Eagles, Steelers, or both teams to end up in the Super Bowl who are in their 85th season this year, both being established in 33. Anyhow, here's a man connected to Dylan, dead December 12th. I want to show you what's so interesting about this man's death, Anthony Scaduto, who again wrote the first biography of Bob Dylan. He was born March 7th, 1932, died December 12th, 2017. What's interesting about both of those dates is they have numerology of 61. Special number. They both represent the word time. Time has gematria of 61 as well as 144. And think about what day he died, 12-12. 12, 12. 12 times 12 is 144. With regards to each day... There's 1,440 minutes, 1440. The square root of 144 is 12, 12 months in the year, 12 hours in the morning, in the evening. So his death has a lot to do with time, passed at a specific moment. In reduction gematria, his name Anthony Scaduto equals 54. Remember the word sun equals 54, very special number. Horus equals 54 that represented the sun to the Egyptians. From his death, December 12th, to the date of the upcoming Super Bowl is 54 days later. Also, you could say that from his death to the Super Bowl is a span of 55 days. If you count the end date, this count goes to 55. This is the number we're looking at with Bob Dylan. Again, December equals 55, sacrifice equals 55, Satan equals 55, so does the reshuffling Santa. Minneapolis also equals 55. Bob Dylan, a Minnesota native from Duluth, the Super Bowl is going to be in Minnesota. Minnesota equals 52, they're hosting Super Bowl 52. Look at this. Bob Dylan, his birthday is May 24th, which is the 144th day of the year. Bob Dylan born on the 144th day of the year. His biographer dead on 12-12-144. From Dylan's birthday to the Super Bowl is 257 days. Blood sacrifice equals 257. Plus 257 is the 55th prime number. You see? Sacrifice 55, just like we talked about. And also, if you write out 93 as a word, it sums to 55. Minneapolis, Minnesota equals 93. It's on the 93rd meridian. They tell us the sun is 93 million miles away. I pointed out how from Bob Dylan's birthday to the manufactured hurricane in Houston, which it was... And for anyone who doubts that, I showed what the numbers of the hurricane were, why it was manufactured, and why the Astros would win the World Series beating the Dodgers, and they beat the Dodgers by the exact numbers I talked about. L.A. burned. Houston flooded. For any of you who doubt my work, you're doubting the wrong person. My work's proven, been doing this since 2013, showing what's going on with definitive evidence. So, we're looking for Bob Dylan. His biographer dies by the numbers we've been talking about. And notice, I posted this in August of 2017. So 
We've been looking at Bob Dylan all year, put out a video in recent weeks. Unfortunately, my first video on Bob Dylan and Reuben Carter and the hurricane has been deleted because my channel's been deleted 10 times since June. Google doesn't want this information out. Google only wants trash information out. That's why all the cat videos are still up and all the flat earth crap. Put out some real truth, you'll be censored, just like I am. You know? So Bob Dylan, biographer. We're going to keep watching. Eventually it's going to be Bob Dylan's name. I'll be very surprised if Bob Dylan makes it to age 77. The only hope he has at the age 77 is this. Judaism equals 77. Zionist equals 77. Theater equals 77. United States equals 77. Power 77. Secret Society 77. I don't think Bob Dylan's going to make it. If he does, let's pay attention to who drops dead in connection to him, such as his biographer, because this is also the way it works. These people die in pairs. So think about who else is connected to Bob Dylan. We see how Anthony Scaduto was. Most people will look and think, wow, he lived to 85, nice long life. But the truth is he didn't go out naturally. He was murdered by the code. These people kill the young and the old. It's Freemasonry in high places. They control your media. They control your government. They control all of entertainment, world of sports, music, movies. They kill all by this code. You see Mick Jagger down here? Remember, Mick Jagger took over for Brian Jones, the founder of the Rolling Stones, who was found dead in his pool at age 27, found dead July 3rd, 7-3. Rolling Stones equals 73. So does sacrifice. You know, Frank Sinatra went out by the numbers. Marilyn Monroe out by the numbers. John F. Kennedy out by the numbers. There's no escaping it. You sign up with this gang, just like Bob Dylan said. He said he signed his life away a long time ago to be where he is. And is that any surprise? Bob Dylan, his music's good, but I mean, in terms of his singing talent, you know, I, I like Bob Dylan, but I mean, we all know he's not the best singer. Far from it. So how did he get to be there? There's a lot of talented singers in the world. This is what it is. This is what Murder by Numbers is. This is what the song the police sung about in 83 was about. And, and by the way, I noticed this guy's name, Skaduto, has Gematria of 83, like murder, like football. So, there's a reason he was chosen. All right, until next time.